Alright, so I was playing some real life today, and well, the plot kind of sucked, but the graphics were amazing, and now I'm stuck to this, so sorry for that, but that's okay, because today we have a job. To capture the loot that came from the end, we needed a storage island. But, that was in the way of the Flossie's beacon. He didn't like the fact that it was within spawn and thought it was too laggy and threw it. And so he built a second island. And he asked me one thing and one thing only. What should I change? I told him to make the roof higher. Unfortunately, this also means that he doesn't have enough room to do the wiring, apparently. And so I have been tasked... With typing wrong, with doing the the job, so that's why I have all this stuff, and this was just to throw you off, I don't need dragon heads. So that's it, that's what we gotta do today. Uh, what this basically means is, we need shulker box loaders for the shulker boxes, wiring to detect the empty shulker boxes, and then we need to hook up a water stream for this, and then some kind of... This angel is off by one block. So we got two done. That's what it looks like. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's a shulker box loader. Had to raise up these hoppers so I didn't have to slant the roof. And I'm not going to consider this a bad thing because it's going to be a little bit more storage for the items. Now let's make the rest of them. It is much, much longer after recording. But they are done. Uh, so I ended up getting lazy and blowing off the project and then crafting a ton of redstone with Ina and friends. Right. What are you guys doing? This is not crafting! <laughs> okay. What? This. This. Could you. Could you craft a few bows for me? A few. What isn't crafting? Not just bows. To make dispensers. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had a new member of the server. Waiting for a new member to join my nerve. Just standing here at spawn. Hello! If it could low terrain, thank you. This is Junction. Uh -huh. And then we went and crafted more redstone stuff because this took a lot of comparators that we didn't have. Fun fact we are out of stone. I mean, completely nothing left. We need to dig another perimeter. But yeah, these are all done. And oh, by the way, it's also the next day. So I, I really got lazy. Got into some Pokemon videos and... Yeah, okay. But uh, yeah, these are done. So now I'm just going to add a water stream and some logic. So by logic, I mean uh, what we're going to have to do is have some kind of detection system. So what we have in the Ruby Center is my system for auto refilling shulker boxes where it'll detect when these don't have shulker boxes. So for example, these comparators are off. That would trigger a torch, which would start a clock, and then start sending shulker boxes along these hoppers here to refill the system. That way we don't have tons and tons of chests behind each of these, and they'll all be sharing the same reservoir of shulker boxes. Low stone is better than torches always. Also, when I unmute my mic, you're going to hear an argument about how Germans and Dutch people apparently say they're backwards numbers. They're like 54 is apparently 45. It's the first num uh, number, then the second number. And it kind of mix it around. It's my try to explain it, but not everybody has it. I'm one of few I know that has it. This is the first I've it ever heard of It could also be, you know, dyslexia, where you read stuff yeah. Yeah, wrong. Yeah, where you can't really spell as well. We actually have a large There's number also of dyslexic that, numbers. There's also for numbers. Is this just for Dutch and Germans? Mm, I mean, French people are people. very weird. They, we know. they calculate if they count. Do you have a French person on your server? Unfortunately, yes. Ina! <laughs> <laughs> My sister hated it. They, they say something like twenty plus twenty plus seven. Oh yeah, they do it like where it's like you do it's um, catch a van cease and that's like eighty six. 
It don't make sense to anybody else. It makes no sense to me. I um, like English better. Yeah, English is much better than any other language. Thank you all. Exactly. We have a new uh, member! Honestly. And honestly, it was because I thought he was already a member, and then it turns out he's not. There's a creeper right there, but I'm gonna book it. <laughs> Say hello, new member. Okay. Oh my god, there's so many creepers up here. Why? Oh, there are like eight of them. Alright, I'm out of here. We're heading to spawn because there should be a new German guy just standing there confused. Oh god, he's already oh, gone. Into the water. Who let him use the <laughs> AWSD keys? Oh my god, where is he? <laughs> I'm down where the cow farm was. The Q firm? Yes, that's my source of food. I still eat steak and we ran this thing weeks ago. Hello! Wow, that is quite a skin. You know, Draven from League of Legends is my favorite character, so I use this. Somebody we in the comments you. does, and I do not. So Ferris is the perfect example of like the easiest way to get um, added to my Nerval. We get this question a lot, but our application process is just a way for me to get to know them. Uh, the best way is to just join and talk to us. Um, and that's why I said I didn't know that he wasn't a member, because we've been chatting with him for the past while, and it's like, you gotta just... It is easiest for us to whitelist and add people to our group when we already see them as a friend. So we already need to like get to know people and find out what they're all about and everything. And I'm checking out the iron farm because I logged in today and this thing was completely disabled. And it is now evidently running quite well. Let's see if all the iron's been shot out. Yep, poppies are in there. And it is set to 192. Alright, all is well. And welcome new member. Uh, <laughs> we're we're going to show him around the server off camera. So I need to record this. You've got a, a grummy... Not grummy. What is a, a gruddy? <laughs> in our, yes, I need to clean my boat. In our storage room. <laughs> it looks so realistic, though. <laughs> Look at this. He's got his little paddles and everything. And it even matches the carpet. Wow, you should leave this down here. Well, have fun. Do good things. Yeah, it's, it's my boat. We got item filters! We got torches and dust on top! Progress report. This might look like a lot has happened, but really it's just more, more f item filters over here. They're all empty so far, it's Lothlossi's job to do that, but I ran out of hoppers. I had exactly enough hoppers to get those four in place, but uh, yeah. So this has actually gone pretty well. It looks like the items will be able to go in just a loop. This item elevator is perfectly in line with this, which doesn't mean anything because they need to be angled against some dragon eggs, but hey, still good. These eggs are coming in from the end because chickens are in our end portals. <laughs> in our end portal, and I need hoppers. There should be some right here. Yes. All right, you guys, I'm going to get a record. It's going to happen. Yeah. Where did that... Okay, skeleton's over here. There's another skeleton over here. Okay, all right. So what's actually been happening on top of this roof are these lamps are not updating. And creepers keep spawning. So now I'm trying to get a record, obviously. I don't think it's going to work. <gasps> I got one! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! I haven't gotten a record legit in so long. I mean, like, I've always set up farms for it or something, and that's not fun. It worked! It is. I will forever treasure this record. So I'm building the elevator for all the loot that comes in from the end, and I'm thinking about a question I got in our Discord where somebody asked if item elevators need to use glass. And it occurs to me that it is so frequently used by builders to use glass in their item elevators that people legitimately think you need to use glass. And absolutely not. You just need to use any solid block. You can see up here I ended up using end stone just to kind of blend this in with the ceiling. I'm not talking to you, little flossy. Well, solid blocks? Yeah, I don't know. Any block. complete blocks. I don't know. It's called a full block. Uh, I'm sorry, a, a full block? Yeah. 
Its volume needs to be a lot. What is 16 by <laughs> six, uh, so 256 by 16? I'll put it on the screen now. It needs to have that many pixels inside of it, because that's how that works, uh, and then it'll work. So glass it just looks really nice because you can see the items, but a lot of different blocks would work. So go and try it with like fence posts or something, and then see how it turns out. <laughs> oh, congratulations! <laughs> Why are you punching with your left hand? <laughs> I'm more of a client. <laughs> That's what you do. You realize you me? can change your main hand anyway. It looks like you're trying to throw no, a football. <laughs> is it displayed like to others? Can others yes, see that? I can see it. You mine them with both hands. Just say you're gone. Look, if I take I two really hands in my off hand and punch you with. The carrots, it looks like I'm punching you with the sword. You know, you could um, hold your sword in your right hand and like food in the left hand and then confuse iron and try to make him figure out why your <laughs> carrots are doing so much damage. <laughs> <laughs> How did your carrots set me on fire? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe because I have a sword in the other hand. Oh. You killed it, Pablo. What is this? It's it's like English but upside down and backwards. And the font is really small. You know, there's gonna be one guy in the comments who's like, Oh dude, you didn't know about that bro, I use it every day. But like I have never Oh my gosh. I've never seen this before, and I'm a person who has clicked on at least one uh videos where they, <laughs> at least one videos, yeah, sure, where they showed off like five secret languages in Minecraft, but this has gone undetected by me. Um, wow, if I can actually pull, nope, <laughs> if I can pull up the languages, um, when it's not this, you saw earlier, it actually looks really weird, so I just thought it was some random language I don't speak, just like most of these, uh, but wow, that's, that's new to me. What are you guys doing in my wiring, huh? Uh, we're, uh, destroying it. Oh, no, but seriously, what are you doing? Uh, okay, hold on. Alright, never mind. Never mind. We're is... yeah. No, yeah, it's still. What? This is for these... Oh, God, this is not right. <laughs> this is for the items from the end. You're filling them into the shulker boxes. <laughs> Where the shulker boxes yeah. are supposed to be disp... All right, well, it seems like while I was away, they effed up the water stream and filled in a lot of the shulker boxes, which is good, I think. Most of these are empty, or these all should be empty, which is good. Um, this yep. water stream, what I was kind of stuttering there about, is it's just alarming to me that they did not realize this. Okay, this is for shulker boxes? No, this is where the items are coming in from the end. Yeah, yeah. We, we're temporarily... Hooking it up to the shulker box. Temporarily. Okay. So Very you don't big have to keyword all there. Alright, okay. So it seems as though they've hijacked my item elevator. Temporarily. Because, yes, <laughs> what they are doing, this would result in all of the loot from the end being filled in where the shulker box should go, which would. It would destroy everything. You would have to manually just. It would be a nightmare. So upon further inspection, it would appear the filter for ender pearls is the only thing that I did yesterday. Yes, it is now a third day of work. I've been very distracted, but well, let me talk about that in just a second. But it seems like they've left the fun part for me, seeing as I get to go through and do all these filters. Yay! But uh, yeah, what I just talked about, um, in a couple weeks here, as of recording this, it is whip out my phone, May 24th. So on June 2nd, I will be officially no longer a high school student ever again, which will be nice. Because <laughs> I don't plan to uh, enter the workforce for a little while here, because I just, for a lot of personal reasons, and not to mention I happen to have a YouTube channel that's, you know, that I, I want to give a lot of attention to, money isn't really something I need right now. And I know not a lot of people get this opportunity, but I'm going to be able to chill out at home for quite some time. And that's just because I have a lot of different skills. Trust me, getting a job will not be difficult for me. But as for the time being, I'm going to spend a lot of time at home just so I can, you know, live life, breathe some air, relax a bit, find myself, enjoy my life. Because, 
you know, as soon as you start working a job you don't want, or even a job you want, but for too many hours, like, you're not going to be able to do that anymore, so I'm taking the chance while I have it. Which means, these videos are going to get a hell of a lot better and a hell of a lot more frequent, because... I'm going to be able to cycle at my own sleep cycle. I'm not going to have any kind of schedule. And I'm not going to have any bubbles in my throat because I just ate donut. Ate a donut. I did eat five donuts, but they were mini donuts. Anyway, I ate a big donut too, so my throat is all sticky. But, yeah, I'm going to have a lot more time to play Minecraft. I'm going to dedicate a lot more time to the server. I'm going to make a lot more videos, a lot more time to edit and put a lot more effort into these videos. They're just going to get better. I mean, that's really the... For now, I'm going to finish this one project. If it takes me all week, this project will get done in this video. May it might be two parts. I don't know. I've recorded a lot. Fun fact, in all the time that we've had the uh, sand duplicator in the end, I don't think anybody has ever uh, duplicated... Uh, gravel. <laughs> All that we've ever done that for is for red sand, normal sand, and dragon eggs. I don't even think we've done anvils, so yeah, I guess I'm going to have to go back to the ruby center to start the item filters. I came into the ruby center and I saw these weird things on top of the umbrella wondering, what is that? And then I realized that they're just red carpet and that I forgot to take off the chest resource pack. <laughs> See, if I come back over here, you get to see a whole bunch of chests. So, thanks, Pablo, for the resource pack. So, that is now multiple clips that I've had ruined in today's video, uh, thanks to my CPU not. See, there are little issues I have when making these videos where I go to, like, full screen my game and or, like, hit record, and then it's just all stuttery and it doesn't show a clear image or it just doesn't record or it takes too long and then I miss a clip. Like right now, I just had Omar said found it while Pablo was filling in these filters for me. So I was going to say thanks, Pablo, and then give you guys an update that Omar did find his pickaxe. But no, I missed it because my equipment failed me. So I'm going to use this as a perfect time to plug my Patreon. <laughs> if you guys want to like support the channel, get little benefits, and make sure this never happens and have my forever gratitude, uh, that would be a, an immense amount of help if you guys pledged at my Patreon. Only like a dollar a month still helps a ton. Uh, I understand if you can't, really, this is, I'm not pushing anybody here, but it would go a long way, and uh, currently the CPU is not cutting it, but I'm doing my best. Oh, and thanks, Pablo. I'm going to put this in the video just for documenting purposes. Uh, I've been using these shulker boxes to fill in the filters. I understand I don't need this much. However, I'm going to leave these up here in case anything ever goes wrong or this needs to be changed. These will just be like maintenance chests if you ever need to drop something off or if we need to fill in these filters again. I'm just going to leave these items here. I think I'll even put the filter items here. Hopefully this covers the question because I just see in the future a new member joins this gets messed up and then they ask me hey why are these shulker boxes here and then I'll say did you watch the video and they'll go what video and then I'll revert them to this timestamp and then it's like I'm telling the future I'm calling it oh, goodbye Pablo yeah. anybody who's ever made item streams understands my pain with this when I need this to loop and it's just it comes right to a stop. So now I need to cut it off early, set up another piece, and that just, that bothers me for some reason. I have no logical reason why. I feel like it's about to happen again, or it's barely going to avoid it. Okay, all right, never mind. We're good, we're good. That's completely fine. Uh, by me putting in these item streams, that's my fancy cinematic way of telling you that I already did all these filters, but now that I've just said it, it kind of just ruins the idea of that. But actually, yeah, with the filters in place... Once the uh, shulker boxes are filled in and the item elevator is repaired, this thing should be uh, fully functional. So what I can do, actually, is go ahead and explain a little bit what's going on here. It's about to get very hard to move around. So the items should come in from up here. This did look really nice until they went ahead and just completely hijacked it. But once the elevator is repaired, it should look really good. All of them will come up here. I gave it just a nice wide space because items coming up through these elevators are always glitchy. It's really no fault for the elevator. It's just Minecraft doesn't like to be fun always. But the items should all come down this exact same item stream, get aligned along the, uh, the eggs here, and then go just fine. And then if they're ever full or if a wrong item comes in, then it'll just complete the loop. And that's basically what will happen. They'll simply just go around in circles inevitably. Uh, or perpetually, but really for five minutes, and then they'll just despawn. So that's how we'll deal with overflow items, because every item b here is being produced via a duplication machine. Uh, we're not really losing anything by letting the items despawn. It's just, it, it's 
it, it, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. You know, like it doesn't cost anything to just keep the farm running even when it's full. So, yeah, as soon as a person comes back from AFK, they just turn it off, and hey, we just got a full system. If you guys didn't see the original video on this, it's going to pop up on the screen now. Do you like the little bell right there? Yeah, uh, this is where, this is, I think, 3.3 million items for E? It's actually the title of the video, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, all of this is going to have plenty of storage, so I doubt that we'll ever be dealing with it being full. The only time it's ever, you know, quote, quote, full is if we run out of shulker boxes, I think would be the main problem, because I guarantee you we will not be putting 112 shulker boxes full of crap up here. I wasn't going to record anymore until the video is over, but uh, Omar here <laughs> is, you can't see it because he's standing, but he is actually in the elytra mode under the glass inside of the cauldron and it's, it is just perfect that this is where the iron is filling because it's moving him back and forth. It picked up the iron too. I think you can just re-log and that'll take you out of flight mode. You can also shift or try to sprint. And then Probably, from there yeah. you might just be able to jump out because we should have jump boost. Oh, shift doesn't work to jump out. Try re-logging. I'm going to re-log. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 it pushed oh, you out. Hey. There You're you good! Go. Woo! <laughs> so, you know that water stream that Omar and the Flossie said was temporary and wouldn't be a problem? I am now finding a bunch of ender pearls where shulker boxes should be. Now I have to clean these out. Alright, so, progress report. I never actually cleaned out the ender pearls from below, but what I have been working on is a dropper input. So, all of these redstone torches will only ever turn on if uh, one of these comparators or both sides of the comparators are off, I now realize my mistake. Oh crap, I'll figure that one out, don't worry. And uh, then they'll just power this redstone line whenever there are empty ones, and then then this will trigger a clock that should start distributing shulker boxes, except all of these are empty, and now I need to make a system to fill these up. So that's what I'm doing next. It is just moments later, but not at all, because this took a little while. Uh, I tried a lot of things, I tried observers and everything, and everything seemed to just have the same problem. So, since it's pretty squished in down there, uh, what I have now is we're just reading from these chests, which I don't love, because these chests could, oof, these chests could have one item in them and it would turn the torch off, but that's okay, uh, it's really not too big of a deal. So we're not going to be able to utilize all of the storage of the chests, unfortunately. However, um, I think that's just what we're going to have to deal with. So, now we're, since we're reading from the chest, that allows us to pull the block back just one more. And all of these torches are now uh, just lined up. So, if any of the torches from the furthest end trigger this line, then it'll just go up to this repeater. It will make it. The signal strength does not fade. And if it comes from here, then um, it might actually still make it. But I'll, I'll, I'll do the math. But currently, I just have a repeater. So, that would be fine. This works fine. I realize that these wires, even though they they shouldn't cross because of this glowstone, it wouldn't matter if they crossed because they're all going to the same place anyway. It looks good. Wait, it happened again? <laughs> yeah, well, it was in when I was in the air above the roof center. I just teleported like 10 blocks higher. Yeah, how strange. <laughs> oh, I see. What the hell are you doing, I'm No, I'm not. <laughs> well, then why are you, what do you laughing? mean it just why teleported you? How does that work? Oh, oh, I just realized you're in, you were in spectator mode. Yeah, thanks, Beast. <laughs> God, I hate you so much. <laughs> All right, well, back I've to my I've update. Never really, I've re never really occurred to me why you were so sympathetic and now you're, how you're never like that. <laughs> you, you're like, you just ne don't even answer it. I'm just on my own. You're Iron was like, going to go as far what? as to get shadow play set up. <laughs> All right, I'm going to mute Discord. So I figured out a way to refill all the shulker boxes. Um, this is funny. So I had all of these hoppers going this way, and then I realized it's just easier to input it from over here. So now all the hoppers are going around here, but then all these are going back here. I don't know. It just fills in all, all of them. And then they all go to this dropper. This is where all the... This is the reservoir for the shulker boxes, and then these torches here is what regulates all of these shulker boxes, fill all of these shulker box loaders. And then this dropper is what triggers them. I think I lost my netherrack. Oh, crap. I might have put that in the... I was testing this with netherrack. That might have started triggering. I don't know. Um, like I said, I got this wiring to work. So if I actually turn this on, it'll... You can hear the clicking. Okay. So, yeah, that'll work just fine. And now the input is right down here. Uh, this might not be 100% perfect. I'm going to test with... I don't know, black glass. Sure. 
So this is the little window you get. Uh, you get to watch all your shulker boxes go on up, and then there's a half sub above that hopper, so they all get scooped up. That's just an easy clock, not really anything to say about that. And then it all goes into these hoppers here. And then I had to actually remove these, this ice right here because it just wasn't going to work. And then I realized how silly I was being. You guys remember I had a second ice stream going along here? I'm like, wait, why don't I just connect this to the main elevator? So that's what I've done here. I've recycled the same item stream so that the items can go in a loop when they're full. I think this is already done. That was already a stack. So now a stack of items should be in here. 63, oh, now he's teleporting me. Uh, 63, that totally threw me off. Okay, so one must have gotten stuck elsewhere. Uh, this elevator is not 100% perfect, but I don't really mind. Yeah, it came out the side here. That's okay. Uh, I'll figure out a fix for that. So what this comparator here does is it reads that when this hopper is completely full, that means all of this storage has been completely filled up, it'll actually push this piston down and force this clock off so it will no longer trigger. That way, when this thing is absolutely full, this is the last chest that any shulker box will go into, go into and this uh, elevator will immediately turn off once it's full. So there shouldn't be any overflow, uh, there shouldn't uh, be any being lost other than the kind of spitting out the sides over here. That kind of sucks, but I think I'll just make this entire elevator a 3x3 three three just to make it safer. But yeah, that's, uh, that's looking pretty good. I found two empty shulker boxes and a chest, so I've officially filled my first two shulker boxes. Awesome. Uh... That's interesting. I think I might do this. Okay, so what I'm realizing is this here, right there, this will always be triggering whenever there isn't an item in it. And that's, I don't know, it's an added source of lag to have this clock going on. However, this reservoir should never be empty, so maybe I'll just use it as an incentive for people to fill it back up. Whenever you come into this area, you're going to hear this constant clicking until somebody either breaks the system or fills it up with shulker boxes. You know, I'm gonna address this comment in a uh, in a new video. A lot of people ask us, yo bro, how many shulker boxes? How do you, how do you get them all? And I'm like, what? Uh, well, here's how. The, the way we get our shulker sh I, I should probably show this, but yeah, whatever. We actually get them from a shulker spawner we made in the end. I made a whole video on it linked here where you can go check that video out. It's actually a pretty good video back in the day. Old one, but still good. Uh, we made a shulker spawner, and that was actually a big decision by us. We decided that it would be better to build a shulker spawner and that kind of thing because that, was a, that actually spawned a whole night of us working together, designing something, and the, the design we ended up using was Nuke's design where it was uh, AFKable. So now we get to use the looting effect, and it's really not that fast. I think a spawner, I might be wrong, is something like 640 items an hour or something, which is like not a lot at all. That's less than 10 stacks, well, 640 is average, so it's probably less than 10 stacks of shulker shells an hour. So after a whole night of AFK, you'll get a couple double chests. And so what I just showed you is, you know, this is a lot of AFK time. And to me, this is all in place. I, I feel like I forgot to mention it. This is all in place of uh, duplicating them. So I guess the only server I can even think of that's done this is Psycraft, where instead of making a spawner or getting them legit, they just sent them through an end portal and got many, many, many double chests of shulker shells. And I think the spawner is a more vanilla way to do it. Meaning, yeah, I get the spawner is not legit, but we did have to actually design a farm around it. I died several times fighting Shulker. I mean, it was a whole, it was a lot more work than like duplicating would have been. And it's a lot less profitable. So yeah, that's just kind of covering the debate side of it. Whether or not it's, you know, okay with you is up to you. On Minerva, it's okay with us. And it gets us a lot of Shulker shells in a really vanilla friendly way. So yeah, that's how we get all our Shulker shells. If anybody is wondering, this is how my next hour or so is going to be going. All right, I know this is a lot of updates, but I did make this a 3x3. Three three. Not a single shulker box got stuck. And so what we got in here is the dispense dropper's all full, hopper's backed up, and it looks really nice. So I'm going to turn this clock on while I do this, and th then I'll stop bugging you guys. Yay, shulker boxes. Okay, we already used all 10 double chests of the shulker boxes, but I wanted to show something that another one of you might have already noticed, is that... Uh, all of these shulker boxes will just go in a loop until they get destroyed, or in this case, where they just bunch up as shulker boxes. Uh, <laughs> bunch up in just one spot. 
So what I'll be doing is, I think I'm just going to use a hopper right here. This will be like a filter. So I'll just have one hopper here. Uh, only the ones that have made the full loop will make it here, seeing as all the new ones will be shot right over here uh, to start. And then that'll just transport all of them, I guess, just in an ugly little hopper stream. I'll bring it down and connect it to this dropper down here. All right, the roof has been patched up. We placed all the end stone back. And now I'm just doing kind of the grindy part, heading back here and actually triggering all of these. That one went down. Okay, so that's what I want to happen. I don't know how exactly I can get that to trigger every time. But it would appear as though maybe items backed up into it. Oh, that could have happened. I don't know. Yeah, I think it might have triggered that. However, uh, this is the only way I can think of to actually trigger all of the shulker boxes without having to go in there. So. I'm just doing this, and then I'm going to go back through and put all these down by myself, otherwise they, you know, they wouldn't work. Alright, I am getting increasingly less and less to show you guys. Uh, ripping out the observers went completely fine. We ran the clock a little while longer because, because we're detecting the chest, these hoppers were still empty in some places, so that we didn't get observers where shulker boxes should be, but placing these back has gone flawlessly. And now if I actually uh, give this a quick test, so if you do like that, there you go. It'll reset itself, and then it'll come down, and then it'll be fine. Ah, throwing out all the items after a long session. Alright, this is another one of those notes that I'm putting in this video just for any potential member in the future sees this. So, this is the duper that we have in the end. I think it's about 86,000 items an hour, and here's the chest for all the different things it can do. I think it works for anvils too, but we're ignoring that. So, uh, I'm going to have... Iron blocks come over here and trigger this, and then we can record some kind of, I don't know, cinematic whatever. I, I don't know that it'll be that good. All right, I hope you enjoyed that awesome silent cinematography. So yeah, it is filling up all the shulker boxes very fast. The reason we have 11 sorters for each type is because it requires that much to actually keep up with this thing's speed. I think it only takes 10 or 9, but we did 11 just because. So yeah, none of the shulker boxes have obviously filled. That takes quite a long time. These are from before, but uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this, oh god, what was this, like a four day long journey, but uh, yeah, you get to see the items coming in from the end up this elevator, shulker boxes get filled in on the other side, the whole system automatically retrieves the shulker boxes on its own, and with that forgotten block, I'm going to end the episode here.